my brain doesn't switch off. It's always ticking over, especially at night when I'm trying to sleep. So I don't get that much sleep. Uh, it's not because I'm smart or anything. It's because my brain's a dickhead. It always wants to chat at the worst possible time, just like some people. Like going back a few years ago, this video is going to be a fun one actually. But I was at a medical center because I, I injure myself a lot. If you've seen my previous videos, uh, there's always something on my hands or whatever. And um, doctor calls my name out, and I hear some guy say, "Abs, long time, man. How you been?" And it's this guy called Naz. I haven't seen him in a long time. I go, Naz, yeah, man, ages. But uh, doctor just called me. I need to go in to see the doctor. He goes, yeah, cool, man. Hey, uh, here's my whole fucking life story. You know? And I said, Naz, wait a minute. Just uh, doctor's waiting, man. I'll, I'll catch you on the way out, you know, if you're still here. He said, yeah, yeah, cool, man. Cool, cool, cool. So uh, on the way out, a doctor finished with me, and he was still there, unfortunately. And um, I said, so how you been, man? It's been a while, yeah? And he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. So where was I? Oh, yeah, 1996. Uh, so I met my second wife, and blah, 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 fucking blah. And I said, Naz, man, I, I really got to go, you know. Um, just, I've got people waiting for me, and he goes, look, I'll be here for a while, so I'll just follow you to your car, man, you know, we'll catch up. I'm like, yeah, this unnecessary dude. He goes, no, 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 sorry, just do me a favor. Follow me all the way to my car, fucking blah, blah, blah in my ear. I hopped into my car, wound the window down, because you wouldn't take a hint. And he's like, hey, so uh, do you still live at, you know, wherever? I said, man, listen, if you don't move, I'm going to run you over. Yeah. He goes, ah, same old abs, you know. I go, yeah, look, go, man, just give me buzz, you know. So he called me on the spot just to, you know, make sure he had my number and my Bluetooth in the car went off, you know. I go, yeah, that's my number. Uh, cool. I've saved yours. So just give me a bus sometimes. I said, all right. He calls me a minute later on the way home and he just blood my head off all the fucking way till I got home. That's basically my brain. My brain is that guy, you know. So I'm just fucked up. A few nights ago, uh, my brain pulled the naz on me and did the same thing. Hey, remember this? Hey, uh... Remember that cringe thing that happened 20, 30 years ago? Here, dwell on it for a while. Also, remember that ex you haven't thought about in 20 years? Yeah, yeah, you're thinking about her now. So I couldn't sleep. And I'm on my phone and I realized that an email account I don't use often had about 400 or so friend requests from Facebook. This is the strange thing because this Facebook account has been inactive since about 2018. And uh, I haven't really used it since 2016. I've, it's just all bullshit. I had about 40-something followers, 44 or something. Ten of those were friends, and the rest were just people I had no idea who they were. They just followed me. But people are following me on that account for some reason. And the thing is with that account, it's fake. The only legit thing is my profile pic and my first name, Abs, right? Everything else, my location, my date of birth, my occupation, everything's just fake, it's bullshit. Because back in the day when Facebook was new and my friends said, hey man, you've got to join this Facebook thing, you know? Um, I was making an account and I thought, fuck this, I'm not putting all my personal details online. This is, I don't know who these Facebook people are. And secondly, there's a lot of people I just don't talk to anymore for no reason, just, you know, we just didn't see each other anymore. And I'm not interested in these people finding me, so I put everything up, up there fake basically besides abs and my profile picture so if i did want to contact someone they'll see who i am and if they want to contact me back fine but if not i didn't want anyone to see me now if you google my name on the uh youtube channel the first searches or the first terms search terms that'll come up the first items will be my youtube page uh, my youtube channel sorry my web page my facebook business page because that's legit uh, i don't update it as often because i really hate facebook but it's, it's there every business needs a facebook page and you may find some Reddit-related content, you know, social media sites that have picked up my posts and added the clickbait title so you can click on them and they get some revenue for it. But you won't find my personal Facebook page because that's not under my name. It's under Abs El Capitan. Because why not, right? You won't find it. So the only way these people are finding my account is either physically searching for that search term or maybe they've added one of these friends or one of these friends has confirmed them and they went through their friends list and found me and just added me and they got around onto a list or something. But those several hundred friend requests turned to several thousand friend requests. Facebook will only hold 1,000 uh, friend requests at a time, but I'm getting email after email after email. So I'm bored and I thought, hey, you know what, let's, let's fuck with these people because that's what, that's what I like doing. So I confirmed or accepted every friend request and those... 44 people turned into exactly 5,000 friends on Facebook. Now, the reason why it's exactly 5,000 is because Facebook has a cap on personal Facebook pages. Uh, Facebook believes that no one has 5,000 friends, and that's probably the one thing I agree with Facebook over. You know, uh, 
there's no way someone's got 5,000 real friends, right? So as soon as I confirm these guys, within seconds, I, I, get, a, I get a message from them, you know. And I realize, I mean, obviously, I know that 99.9%, .9%, if not 100% of these people are scammers, all right? This is why I want to fuck with them, because I want to see what the angle is, right? And I narrowed it down to a few main scams I was trying to pull, which I'm going to get into in a second. I mean, there's a ton of Facebook scams on Facebook, but they were identity theft, um, some way to extract money from you, you know, through extortion, or sympathy, or other types of scams where they're trying to, you've won a prize, but we need your details and, you know, a processing fee. And people that are, hey, I just lost my husband or my wife and I'm homeless and I need some money. And a surprising amount of people who want me to join the Illuminati. <laughs> but of course, there's a processing fee. So I'm about to show you uh, several screen caps of me trolling or attempting to troll these people uh, because I just want to see what happened. Now, some of these are funny. Uh, a lot of them probably aren't as funny because my whole purpose was to determine what these people's angles are and how far they're willing to go. I just want to confuse them basically and, and see what their reactions are and, and how far they're willing to go with this game knowing that, well, not knowing that someone's trolling them. And also, are they bots or are they not bots? So this video is timestamped uh, as per the intro, you know, that little card thing, ye oldie thing. So you can fast forward to wherever you want to go. But at the end, after this screenshots, part three, I get into, after much, much Googling, what these scams are. And I, I find that actually very interesting. I find it more interesting than the rest of this video is going to be. So, um, oh, Also, blackmail scams. Oh, the blackmail is my favorite. I'm going to do that one too. So I'm going to switch over to my, because I've learned how to uh, screen record. I mean, I've always known, but I just couldn't be fucked. But so I'm going to, it's going to be better quality <laughs> now, hopefully. So we're going to switch over to that. So let's just zoom in here for a little bit. Now, this is um, Loeb Liza or Loby Lisa or whatever you want to call him. I don't know. But Loeb, let's just call him Loeb, has obviously sent pics of cannabis. But to me, it looked like poop. So I thought I'd go with that. Well, that fan's pretty damn loud, isn't it? All right, that's unhealthy. Poop shouldn't be green like that. He said, like, what do you mean? Like Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> it's like... He says, buddy, that's lemon haze and banana kush, okay? And I said, you can call your poop anything you like, but it's still poop. I'll call mine ploppy. He says, I, are you a stoner? And then he sends more pictures of uh, cannabis. I said, like stoning people for adultery? That's a little extreme. You bag your poop? Oh my God, most people flush it. I think you are a very unsavory person and I would like to end this conversation, sir. And uh, he ended it. He uh, respected my wishes and did that. Now, like I said, not all of these are funny, but I find them... Funny to, oh, it's, it's fun to troll people, right? Arthur and Fingers is one of my favorites. Now, Arthur and Fingers um, sounds like a villain's name. And she writes, hello. Because obviously there's a, there's a lady's picture there. I said, hello, Miss Fingers, we meet again. She says, nice to meet you. I said, you almost killed me the last time, but I have recovered. And now you will feel my wrath. Behold, did you feel it? She says, am I trying to kill you? What do you mean? She's he's getting confused, which is great. All right, our last battle was epic. You are a worthy opponent for sure. She says, are you, take, are you talking about games? I said, no. Oh, wait, I thought you were Arthur Fingers, but I noticed that you are Arthur. Are you his wife? She says, excuse me, maybe you, need, maybe you think I'm someone else. I said, yes, I believe so. She says, my name is Lily Wu, Singaporean, currently in Hong Kong, China. I says, oh, your name says Arthur. This is embarrassing. Please ignore the minions who may arrive soon. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. And she says, I don't know what to I said, it's okay, it's a misunderstanding. You are innocent. Please accept my apologies. And she says, haha, no need to apologize. We can be friends too. I did apologize, I apologized. But anyway, she all right, great. I have an arch nemesis I need to dispatch. I will return soon. And she laughed, of course. And I thought she's taking this pretty well for someone who's being messed with. So I wrote back, you're taking this quite well, knowing that I'm wasting your time. That's very nice of you. And she says, but today is the weekend. Today I can relax a day, nothing to do. I says, you're lucky. I'm very stressed, planning world domination and taking care of those meddling kids. Then she stopped. I know there's a way to continue the zoom without having to zoom in manually. I just don't know how to do it. David Littlefield. Now, David is, uh, according to his picture, is a very attractive, large-breasted woman. Now, I, I know there are cute guy-girl's names like Stevie and Georgie and Peter. And I know a Davida in real life. 
But David, I don't think that's actually him. David writes, hello, handsome man. How are you doing? I said, David, you look like a woman. Are you transsexual? He says, where are you located? I said, answer the question, David. I need to know for a friend. David, where did you go? He didn't answer. Maybe Dave got offended. Uh, Emma Lee. I think Emma's a bot. I think she's the only one that was actually a bot. Emma. She says, hello. So I thought I'd confuse her. I thought I'd pretend that I know her, right? She says, hello. I said, Emma, oh my God, it's been so long. How you been? I missed you. She says, how old you? I said, you know that, Emma. We dated for six years. I'm 36 now. I'm actually not. I'm a lot older than that. You still look the same. She says, are you single? I said, I am now. Let's hook up. Did you get the money I was sending you? The last few checks were returned. I thought maybe you moved house. I was trying to bait her to see if she would go along with that. And says, oh no, I didn't receive the money. But she's just oblivious to everything here. So I'm guessing she's a bot. She writes, do you like fuck? I said, of course. Do you still do that thing? Then she sends me a link to this site that I did not click on because you can't trust these people, man. She says, join my personal sate. I said, I've had enough sates for now. Hey, do you still poop on people? Because I have friends who were into that. She writes, you come to this side, I will have sex with you in life. <laughs> All right. I was thinking more ethereal, but that'll work, I guess. So the poop thing, are you down? She says, join now, baby. All right. Okay, I'll be right there. I'll bring a raincoat and a rubber hose. She stopped. I think she's the only one that was actually a bot, but yeah, it's debatable. Mary Phillip, I thought I'd confuse this one. She writes, uh, new Facebook account, of course. I mean, hot woman with a new Facebook account. I mean, what are the odds, right? She writes, hi, how are you doing? I said, shh, you wake the neighbors. She says, oh, sorry. I said, no problem, just keep it down a little. Hey, do you like drugs? She says, it's okay. No, I don't drug. My profession doesn't allow such. Where are you from? I said, I'm in jail. She goes, jail, why? What happened? This is the screen capture off my phone, it doubled up. I said, hey, I'll be right back, just need to powder my nose. She says, okay, can we chat somewhere else? I said, don't go anywhere, okay? And she says, are you on Hangouts? Now, a lot of these scammers want you to speak to them on Hangouts or WhatsApp. Because Hangouts, you can use any fake-ass Gmail address, and, and WhatsApp, you can use any burner phone or phone number. So, she stopped. Burley Make, Burley Make, lives in Kabul, Afghanistan. Don't think so, Burley. What a name, anyway. Nice meeting you. How are you doing today? This is at 5.16 p.m. Half an hour later, he says, why are you not talking? I said, I don't have fingers. He says, why, D? How are you doing? <laughs> he called me D. <laughs> what would you call a guy D for? I said, I lost him in a horrible porn accident. He said, so bad. Nice meeting you. Where are you located? I'm like, fuck, he really just you know, shrugged that one off. I said, I'm recovering in hospital from losing all my fingers. I'm typing with my stumps. He says, oh, okay, can I see your picture? I said, yes, it's on my profile. I still have fingers then. He said, is not showing. That's why I'm asking. Then which works do you do? I said, I was a professional slapper, but now without fingers, I cannot work. He writes, so, how, so, ba so bad, how do you manage to survival? And I write, trolling people on Facebook mainly. And he never responded to that one. I wouldn't say they get better, but they're pretty much the same. Molly, Molly Bliss. Hello, I said, hi. She says, how are you doing? I said, I am a Nigeria. You? Now, most of these people are Nigerian, I found out. She says, Australia. I said, nice, where from? She said, I told you already. And I said, where in Australia? There are six states and many cities. She says, Sydney. I mean, it's always obviously Sydney. I wrote, great, where in Sydney? And she didn't respond for a while. So I wrote, I'll wait while you Google it. And she uh, didn't respond to that one. David Douglas. David has a new Facebook account, but he works for Samsung uh, in California. This is one of the Samsung, uh, I won the $800,000 prize. Now, before this one, I've already won it five times in the last hour. He says, hello, sir, how are you doing? I said, have I won the Samsung prize again? I'm still waiting for the last five checks to arrive. That's $4 million in total. He writes, I need to read out this guy's English because it's fantastic. He goes, are you not aware that you lucky profile was merged on our CTS program and won the sum of $800,000 and brand new Samsung Galaxy smartphone from the Samsung 2021 online grand promotion? I said, can you not read? I told you I've already won it five times already. I'm, I used already too much. I'm too rich now. He says, okay, you don't want to listen. Forget about it. Goodbye. So he got a little bit upset. So I thought I'll bring him back. I said, okay, okay, fine. Tell me about my prize. Don't be upset. I was joking. I thought you were a scammer. You seem very honest. He says, why have you not claimed your winning prize yet? I said, I don't know. Can you help me claim it, please? Then he starts yelling for some reason. <laughs> oh, caps. 
Well, I was authorized to make sure that you receive your winnings. We have some steps you have to follow so that you can receive winnings. Are you ready to follow the steps? I said, yes, please. What do I need to do? Hurry. I'm very excited. I'm touching myself. He didn't respond. Don't know why. This could have been a great little sixth between me and him, but April win. <laughs> I like this one. It's short and sweet. She says, how are you? I said, I'm good. Would you like to win a prize? She says, no. I said, why not? It's a good prize. She said, stop. I don't want. I said, you just have to guess my favorite color and the size of something that's totally not a penis. She didn't respond. I got, I got blocked by a few of them, but these ones that didn't respond. Laura Jane Richardson. Now, Laura Jane is friends with Fuad Murray and Muanguzi Daniel. Studied at U.S. Army Command at General Staff College, apparently. She writes, hello, Abs. I said, hi, Laura. She says, I'm good, and you? <laughs> like, I didn't even ask. So I thought I'd check if she's a bot, and I wrote, COVID blue so far. And she says, oh, really hope you're safe there. Er, er, there. How are you doing today? I'm Laura, currently new on this platform app. How long have you been using this Facebook platform? And I said, I am a bot and have been on Facebook since its conception. She says, I'm new to online dating. She totally just disregarded that bit. Blah, 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 blah. I said, are you human? I too am programmed to be human. I have pr been practicing smiling. She says, well, I am honestly sorry for intruding onto your privacy. So she's just disregarding everything at all. So maybe she's a bot, I don't mind. And I said, I do not mind at all. This is a human trait and I am a real human. She said, I'd like to be your friend. I'm willing to tell you more. And it's just blah, blah, blah. But she wants me to go on Skype and I don't want to do that. And I said, oh no, I'm not allowed on these apps. I heard they can be very sexual and are full of midgets. She says, who told you that? So she was a real person after all. I said, my boss. And she writes, I'm often active there. You haven't make a try while concluding yet. I said, okay, I will try, but don't tell anyone. They told me I will be a sex addict if I use those apps. I am a chaste human. She didn't respond. Well, he, it's mostly he, it's mostly men, I think. Uh, here's this one. Uh, this one's the uh, Blessing Adeyemo. Uh, I don't think her name's actually Blessing, but anyway. Blessing writes, Hi, at 7.49 a.m. I didn't respond. So at 5.42 p.m., nearly 10 hours, uh, it's about 10 hours later, she writes, Hi there. Hello, sir. I am Kathy from Samsung Company, California, USA. We have good news for you, sir. And I said, oh, my God, what have I won? This is so exciting. Again, she says, blah, 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 Samsung. But I'm going to read this one out because their English is absolutely fantastic. She goes, Samsung Company Limited, we, the Samsung group of company, formally wants to congratulate you on your big one. A random, a random ticket selection was lunch, and your profile was selected among the lucky winners. Thank you. You are among the 10 lucky winners that won the sum of 800,000 US dollars from our company. All right. I had tickets for lunch today. What a coincidence. What do I need to do? Then she gets into how I won some festival, bulk emails, Facebook picked me at random. You can read this if you want to. You can pause it. I said, oh, yes, I'm definitely interested. Can I have the money now? And she says, if you send me your bank details, I will deposit some as a thank you. I said, yes. Uh, she said, yes. But she did, I was trying to reverse scam her as well, you know, but uh, no, she didn't go that. She said, when you notice, but she tried to save me. She said, when you notice anyone claiming to be Samsung company workers or manager, bank manager, CEO of the company, etc., please, you have to be, please, you have to inform me about it, sir, because their group of people that is trying to steal money from people with this Samsung promotion, sir. I'm like, oh, I felt very grateful. I said, okay, let's get this moving already. How do I get the money? She says, wait. I said, wait. Someone else just said I won $800,000 too, because literally someone else just sent me the same email. This is amazing. So then she sends me pictures of these people with obviously very fake checks. And she writes, these are the lucky winner. They're, these are the lucky winner. They receive that prize money pay for Samsung company. How do you want your prize money paid, sir? Check delivery or bank to bank transfer. I said, they don't look photoshopped at all. I believe you. Please send me the money now. She writes, how do you want it sent? I said, check delivery, please. Can you do express? She says, okay, good, we will need your full name, phone number, address, no, or maybe address number, occupation, you have to fill your details. All right, okay, cool, Richard Bulsack. That number that I put on there is the number to the national um, fraud hotline, and the address is to the local police station, and my occupation is attorney at law. She writes, okay, good, that is my, and I said, that is my business phone, in case the 1-800 number spooked her. She says, congratulations, sir, your profile has been verified. And your Samsung ticket number is Sam, whatever. This is your ticket number. Then Samsung's doing this promotion to eradicate poverty in the world. So your winning is to take, I love this English. So your winnings is for you to take care of community and the poor once around you after delivery, your prize money to you will be coming down to take a group picture with you. I said, okay, great, thank you. 
Then she said the same thing again and again. But then she says, I will strongly advise you to keep this as a top secret between you and the company because of security reasons, sir. I said, these are my correct details. You can check them. Don't know if she actually called the number or not, but she never responded after that. Jane Clark. Hey, she works at Dominant BDSM, lives in Austin, Texas. She says, hey, are you a submissive sissy slave? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I said, no, are you? Question mark, question mark, question mark. She says, I'm a mistress. I said, that's nice, dear. I bet you put the stress in mistress. She, she didn't respond. Could have gone well, I think. But. Daniela Lamb. Daniela Lamb is a new Facebook account. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to meeting you. Hello, sir. I said, shh, you need to whisper. She says, how are you doing today, sir? Which country are you from? I said, you're too loud. You need to speak quietly. Just disregard that. I'm Danielle Lamb from the Publishers Clearinghouse. There's quite a few of these scams, the same Nirvana Prize. Based in New York, USA. I am an elite claim coordinator and nice meeting you, sir. Okay, sir. I said, oh my God, shut up already. Then she sends me this picture of herself. I've Googled that picture, did a reverse image search. I think it's just a stock image. Or it could be from PCH, but I don't know. I said, yes, that's definitely you and not someone else. And she never, she never responded either. No one ever responds back to me. Emily Leonard... Now, Emily, Emily was great, or this person claiming to be Emily. Um, Bolton Steam Shipping Company, University of Laos. She says, hello, I really do appreciate your acceptance to me as a friend. It's my pleasure to have such a friend like you with a wonderful smiles on your face. I hope you are okay with me as a friend. I said, it's not a smile. My face is paralyzed. This is very insensitive of you. She totally disregarded that. She goes, thanks for your reply. I'm Emily Leonard by name, an Italian lady from Rome, Italy. But it says Laos. I, I don't know. Blah, 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 blah. What about you? I care to know you more as my new friend. I said, thanks for the apology. She says, I am the only child of my late parents, Professor and Dr. Mr. and Mrs. Leonard and of the blessed memory. I said, Jesus Christ, shut up already. She writes, are you single or married? For fuck's sake. Uh, we'll get into why they ask are you single or married later. Actually, okay. If you say that you're married, they, um, that's a, my Samsung winning a lottery ticket. As you can see, it's Richard Balsack, Australia. $800,000. Uh, yeah, if you're married, they try to sext with you, then they um, they try to blackmail you by sending these messages or photos, if you've sent them photos, to everyone on your friends list. Uh, but I'll talk about that later. Uh, and this is the email that belongs to that um, certificate. I won't read the whole thing out because it's just long and boring. But this is Riva Riva Ozil. Works at Samsung Mobile Company in San Jose, California. It's like... Hello, congratulations on your winning. I'm here to inform you, blah, blah, blah. And then Samsung collects all this other bullshit and the ways of making your claim prize. And lucky winner who can't make it to California can have their prize sent via transfer, bank transfer home delivery. Should we transfer it to your bank? Now, because I said address last time, I thought, hey, let's go with bank this time, right? Let's see what happens. And I said, transfer to bank, please. And she said, in order to transfer your prize to your bank, you will have to send us the following details. Full name, bank name, account number, account name, phone number, email address. I said, okay, great. Richard Bullsack, St. George Bank, which is a real bank, fake account number, and the landline this time to the local um, policeman's ball, to the, to the local police agency, right? These guys, it's a big police station. They have a task force for everything from gangs to fraud to everything, right? So I thought maybe the 1-800 number spooked the last person. So I'll, I'll use the landline number this time and my throwaway email address. I give that away to whoever asked for shit that I don't want. Congratulations, they've been verified, but you're required to pay $350 bank transfer charges. I said, okay. Then she writes, you will be sending payment to our company represented Bank in Australia. I will send you the payment details when you're ready to send payment, okay? I said, okay, great. Can you call me on my phone number? She says, are you on WhatsApp? I said, no, but you can call me on this phone number. I'm at work. She says, okay. I want to know when you intend to send the payment so I can inform the bank agent on time. All right, let us talk on the phone first, then I will send the money. She said, okay, let me inform the bank agent on that, okay. Then she sends that winning certificate, which uh, is, was in the last pick. All right, oh, wow. She says, this is a certificate of winning, okay? I said, oh, wow, that's awesome, okay. Anyway, so I got worried about, what's his face? I forgot his name now, because he didn't respond. I thought, I really want to know if he called the police station. You know, so about half an hour later, after the message was sent, I, I called the local police station, and I got a very nice constable on the, on the phone. I said, hey, look, my name's Abraham, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I gave him my real name, obviously, because I didn't want to, you know, get in trouble. I said, man, um, this guy's been trying to scam me on Facebook, and he wanted my phone number, so um, I gave him, what was that? Okay, so I gave him uh, the 
number to the, to your police station. And I was just wondering if anyone called sounding maybe Nigerian asking for Richard. And he said that I shouldn't be pranking the police station. I said, look, I wasn't pranking. This is legit, you know, but um, I just wanted to see because they've got a task force for fraud and gangs and shit like that there. And he said that he did receive a, a call from someone um, that sounded of, uh, of an African nationality and, you know, asking for a guy called Richard because this guy was manning the phones that day. He goes, uh, but stuff like this, I need to forward to the fraud hotline. And I said, yeah, look, uh, I want to do that, but I thought it'd be fun to send it to you guys. They said, look, they tried to transfer him to, uh, they caught on straight away, transfer him to fraud. Uh, he goes, but look, in situations like this, these guys have a million Facebook accounts, a million phone numbers, but uh, the guy hung up apparently. So anyway, let's get into the um, types of types of, um, of fraud happening. Because I find this part... Uh, very, very fascinating. I think more, more so than the rest of the video. So this is part three. Now, there's the identity theft fraud, which is where they just want your details, but they're not asking for money. But you have won a prize, apparently, and they need all your personal details, your bank, your, your bank account name, your bank account number, and everything. And from some Googling, they use that information to either obtain ID or open accounts or do something like that, or maybe try to raid your account or, you know, use some social engineering to get into your account somehow. Uh, because you've given them some personal info, so they may call your bank and say, hey, I've lost my details. Can you give me a new PIN number or something? Luckily, most banks here have a PIN number or a password or some sort of two-step verification here, so that's one. The other one is you've won something prize, but they need some money uh, to process this, 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 this prize, all right, to process the uh, you know, winnings or whatever. Uh, it's very similar to the last one, but with this, it's also identity theft because they want all your shit, but also they're trying to get some money off you. The other one, which I find very interesting, there's two, there's, there's the honey pot one or the honey or the, or the honey trap. I was talking to one of these um, for a while. Now, most of these ones are Chinese. The other guys are Nigerian for the most part, but the, the honey trap ones are Chinese. There's always a, a picture of a very pretty Chinese woman or Asian woman, right? And um, I say Chinese because... All of the ones I've talked to said they were Chinese. That's why I'm not being racist or anything. But there's a very pretty Asian woman who could be Korean or Japanese or something else. Yeah, but uh, And what they try to do is they, they try to gain your confidence. They'll flirt with you and say they're looking for a man and et cetera, et cetera. And once they, thought, once they think they've got you, I didn't get that far because this shit takes time. This is, a, this is the long con with these guys, right? Once they think they've got you, they're all of a sudden in a financial crisis and they need a money for a bill or something. And now you're their sugar daddy. You know, you're, you're giving them some money because you've fallen for them. And it's surprising, according to Google, how many people fall for this because they want to WhatsApp you straight away um, or maybe go on some sort of app where you can video and voice chat and then you can see that they're legit, they're a person. And when you're video chatting with them, that they are, in fact, a person in this photo for the most part. So you fall for it. And then eventually it gets to the point where they want to meet you, they want to get married and because you're in love with them because you're naive or you're just desperate or you know, maybe you're just insecure and you need a person, you know. Uh, I'm not blaming anyone for being that, but um, then they'll say something like along the lines of, you know, uh, yeah, I want to cut a passport and shit and tickets, but I don't have the money and they expect you to pay for the, for the, for the airline. One I saw on Google said he uh, offered to pay for the airline ticket, but the lady said that, Apparently in China, or well, this is her excuse anyway, they don't allow that. Can you just send her the money and she'll cut a ticket? And she jacked him for thousands of dollars and then she ghosted him, you know. Uh, the other ones are more of a blackmail thing, uh, which is, this is the fun one. I couldn't post this one because it was very explicit because I get the same thing. Um, and she immediately sends me some pretty hot photos. Now, I don't know if these hot photo, if these photos were her or not, you know, but then she sends me a voice. And uh, it was a lady, and she wants to chat on WhatsApp. I said, no, look, I, I don't have WhatsApp, can't do that. And then she's like, hey, do you want to fuck? And blah, blah, blah. And she kept sending these pictures and sexting me in really bad English. And she wanted me to prove that I was indeed excited, you know, at the time. So I just Googled um, dick pic. And I found the largest schlong I could find and just posted that to her. And it obviously belonged to a, a black man, and I'm obviously not black. Right, because through Googling, I know how these games work, right? As soon as I sent her that picture, she said, she says, oh my, you are very horny indeed. Uh, I need you to go buy four iTunes gift cards for $100 each and send her the numbers or else she's going to forward this picture and this entire conversation to everyone on my friends list, friends and family and everyone. 
that's the blackmail. That's, that's what they do. They try to trap you. Now, if you're unlucky enough to get into a video call with them and, um, or show your face, or whatever, and you have a legitimate Facebook account, then you're fucked. Uh, but I said, no, go right ahead. I don't really care. And I was telling my friend Matt about this. And Matt's a, Matt's a funny guy. And Matt goes, man, how funny would it be if she actually sent that dick pic to 4,000 of your followers? Got 4,000 at the time. It wasn't 5,000 yet because I hadn't accepted everyone. He goes, it's just like Rick rolling, but it's dick rolling, in fact. But <laughs> oh, I got dick rolled. But that's what they do. The other scams out there, a lot of them wanted me to join the Illuminati. Um, they go in there and say, hey, you know, have you heard of the Illuminati? And there's all these benefits to, to, to be a part of the Illuminati, um, you know, social standing and money and whatever and shit like that. But they want all your personal details and then they want you to send them a processing fee and then congratulations to your part of the Illuminati. And um, I didn't get that far with these guys because I told them way too quickly and they ended up leaving. I should have done one. But they, uh, from what I've seen on Google, they send you a fake certificate uh, with the details on there saying congratulations, you're a member of the Illuminati and you start at level whatever. And then I don't know how true this is, but they'll email you to up your level from time to time. And yeah, they want some more money out of that as well. Uh, the other ones, I feel bad for these ones. You don't know how legit they are. Uh, are. People claiming that they're poor and they can't eat and can you send them some money, you know? And now, you know that they're doing this to a whole bunch of other people at the same time, you know? I mean, I, I know it's a lot of these people that are doing this probably really can't afford to eat or something like that, but where does it end? You know, you send one person money and then what about all the other people, you know? And then again, I mean... I know they're scammers as well, like, they're most likely raking in a ton of money from sympathetic people, sending them money, uh, doing that. I tried to reach out to a few of them because I've seen some YouTube videos and um, Google stuff about people who've reached out to these Nigerian scammers and um, got through to them, say, hey man, look, you don't need to do this. If you want money, I'll send you money. But I need you to do something for me. Like, uh, in one case, uh, a guy on YouTube, he's a big YouTuber, I don't know his name, um, got the guy to take photos around Nigeria, you know? And he said he'll pay him for these photos. And this guy came through and started sending him photos. And, you know, and it became a business where they just saw these photos, really cool photos of, you know, just Nigerian life and stuff. Um, I don't know if it's the same guy, but another guy did something where, look, I'll send you, because apparently with iTunes gift cards over there, you can cash them in. Western Union and shit like that charges money, charges a fee. But with iTunes gift cards, you can cash them in at a shop and they'll buy them off you. I'm guessing they take a small cut, but nothing like Western Union does. And, um... He said to one guy, listen, I, I'll send you some money as a good goodwill thing, but just send me proof that you're using this money for good and not evil, you know? So then these guys immediately sent him photos of them handing out school bags and food, bags of food to kids and other people. And it became a thing where, you know, um, these guys were really honestly trying to help the community. I tried on nine different guys to do this and none of them took the bait. I mean, they all admitted they were Nigerian and they were guys because I called them out, right? Because you can reverse image some of these chicks, some of these women that they have on their profile pictures, and they're porn stars and shit, you know? But one guy said, yeah, look, you know, I can't afford to eat. He said, man, why don't we do something? You know, like, do you know someone, are you an artist, or do you know someone who's an artist or a sculptor, or someone that can provide a service, and I will pay you, you know, to buy stuff from them. You just be a middleman. You give the money to them, and, you know, they can send me shit here, like sculptures and whatever, little things, you know? Just, and we can work, we can be business, you know? And he just never responded, you know, so I'm guessing scamming is just, just really easy for them, you know, so, or it's much easier than actually doing some work. Um, but yeah, I don't know, I thought, I thought this was an interesting video. Um, I have since deleted Messenger, because my, mis my notifications are going off, and it got boring very quickly. There's only so many, so much fun you can have scamming these people before it gets very, very samey. So um, that's all I've got for you. Love you. Bye.